4,700 meters above sea level, sits the mesmerizing Sanjiangyuan region. It is the largest pilot program in China's national park system. The Yellow Yangzi and Lantang River, as well as the rivers leading to the Hokzhou National Nature Reserve, originate from here. In May, tens of thousands of pregnant Tibetan antelopes begin their annual migration to Hokzhou to give birth. To prevent cars from hitting the Tibetan antelopes, many passageways like this have been constructed. Throughout the years, these wild animals became accustomed to the human-altered environment, while humans also learned to make space for these plateau creatures. The plateau is an extremely vulnerable ecosystem. Any human activity could cause more serious damage to the environment here than anywhere else. Home to the headwaters of Lantang River, Zadua County was troubled by waste for years. Over 90 tons of garbage was generated in the biggest town of the county per year before 2013. Xinghe, a large workforce came together to clean up the region. The former waste bother town became a clean town. Life on the plateau is not easy. The combined role of herdsman and national park ranger is a tailor-made solution for the ecological protection on the plateau. Overgrazing and logging led to over 60% of land degradation and herdsmen were losing the grasslands they depended on. The establishment of the national park changed the lives of these herdsmen. In my village, all the residents made a living through herding. Our lives were tough. Since the establishment of the Xinjiangyuan National Park Pilot Program, we've worked as park rangers and patrol the park on a daily basis. This gives us a stable income, while the government also provides many benefits. All the villages are connected by roads and have electricity. We are also getting subsidies for our job, which is 21,600 yuan per year. Our lives have become much better than before. As of 2020, there are 17,211 park rangers at Sanjiangyuan National Park. The park covers a large area of 123,100 square kilometers, which means every ranger needs to patrol an area of more than 7 square kilometers. The heavy workload and harsh conditions on the plateau requires more people as well as detailed planning. During the two sessions that have just concluded in Beijing, Du Dezhi, member of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, made a suggestion to promote a full-scale one-household, one-post system. Under this system, as long as one member of the household is hired as a park ranger, the whole family can participate in the subsidized job. The harmony between humans and nature is the ultimate goal we strive for. Our solutions are in nature. By protecting the environment, we're also creating a better future for ourselves.